another thing that I recommend you do it for prepping for the prom is to create a deadline and I have created for you guys right here a deadline calendar yeah I'm gonna read it out to you guys so the purple ones are for the fashion stuff this one the highlighted one this is the prom night okay like four or five weeks before the prom you want to go to the tailor if you're gonna sew your dress you go to that tailor show them your design buy the fabric do the fitting and it's better if you do it before a month okay like six weeks just just the calendar doesn't fit that's why i put it up here oh well yeah sure you talk to the tailor about how you want to feel about the dress and make sure you go to a tailor that's that you're comfortable with. You don't want to try a new tailor for prom night, okay? You might try a new tailor when you're gonna sew a dress for your bridesmaid gig on your cousin's wedding, but not in prom. Stick with a tailor that already understands your taste and your body type and how you move, you know? You want to feel comfortable with all that dancing in the night. If you're gonna buy your dress four weeks before the prom, you want to go ahead and get those shoes and accessories and dress I should have wrote, wrote that go and get them earlier why because your prom will be probably be in the prom season and a lot of seniors are going to be looking for the same stuff as you and it will not look fu funny if you show up in the same dress as someone else mm -mm. two weeks earliest before the prom you want to have a fitting to make sure that the dress fits you well and that the outcome is how you wanted it to be you don't want to just get the dress on the day you you gotta have fittings first i recommend two weeks before the prom two weeks before the prom night you if you're doing your own makeup and hair you want to do a makeup and hair test drill the pink ones are for those if you're trying out new products i recommend you try it at least two weeks before the prom not not like a week or so You're, the products that you that you are trying have an allergic reaction to you you do not want to go to the problem with red rash and spots and blemishes Ew. you do the, do hair and makeup tests before the d-day you can actually save more time when you're prepping on that on that evening but maybe you can even match your eyeshadow colors with your date tires or something i don't know week before the prom night you want to have a final fitting Final fitting. Usually the tailor is not real, not really sewed everything. She just cut, she just cut the fabric to the shape. You want to wear that dress when it's already done before the D-Day. Also, again, it just little tweaks here and there that might have come to your mind that she can still fix. That's why you have two fittings, people. At least, at least two fittings. Have a makeup and hair tra uh, final test. Yeah, so you can try out different looks like what I'm probably going to be doing right now. Doing all these makeup looks for the prom series. For the makeup, if you're doing it yourself, I recommend watching my tutorials. No, not only that. You know, you can like look at other gurus' works as well. Open magazines and, you know, runway makeup. Runway makeup can be good if you have a dramatic theme like Arabian Nights. That's my theme. Or Masquerade. Yeah, they can have some pretty good tips in it too. During the final makeup and hair test, you are not to try any new products. I repeat, do not try new products. The prom week, okay? This is the deal week. This is the deal. Four or five days before the prom, you want to go to the spa, relax, exfoliate your skin and all of that, you know? You don't want to look stressful in the night. And you also want to get your eyebrows done. Why so far away? Because right here, yeah, your on your brow bone is really sensitive, especially mine. That's why I rarely use eyebrow pencil because the skin is really sensitive. If you pluck it or you shave it or whatever, it's gonna look red. And if you do it the day before, you're gonna go here with a red eyebrow. You don't want to go to prom with irritated skin. And if you're gonna wear makeup on prom night and your skin looks irritated from the eyebrows, from the eyebrow plucking, plucking, why do I keep saying plucking like a chicken? Yeah, it will make your skin worse. Days before the prom night, you want to get your nails done. Why so far away? Because when you do your nails, 
Of course, there's always the base coat, the first coating, the second coating, if you put glitter, the glitter coat or crack coat, and then the final coat. That's a lot of layers to dry. And usually on the first day, no matter how good the brand is, like I usually go to OPI, it's still very fragile on the first day. So you want to let it set. Yeah, you want to let it really, really settle in. Because if you wear it on the D-Day, and then you're like, your date, say your date is putting your corsage on, and then suddenly, bam, he smears your nail. That'll be a catastrophe. You can slap that. And then, three days. This is for guys. Please understand, this is for girls. Actually, guys can do this too. But this one's kind of embarrassing. Oh well, whatever. Three days, three days before prom night, you want to wax the unwanted hair and the unwanted spots, mm -hmm. especially if you're wearing an open dress. Again, this is not done before the D-Day or on the D-Day because it's gonna look red. You want to let your skin breathe for a bit. You don't want to put makeup on it, and especially if you're wearing a tight dress like this right here. Okay, this thing is tight, and if I wax over here. What hell? I'm going to so again, whatever. Yeah, your this fabric is gonna interact with your skin that is just wax and it's exfoliated and it's not fully mended yet. It's not healed and it's gonna hurt so much. Trust me, this is personal experience. Why didn't I put it with the eyebrows? Because, well, hair grows fast, but the eyebrows don't. No, actually, they don't. Eyebrows don't grow fast. And the night before it. You just want to do your final check. Have fun. And on this final check night, get some sleep. Eat healthy. Do not starve.